There are three methods to fix Bluetooth not working in Windows 10. Method 1. Open the device manager. To open it, type in the search box device manager and then click on the first result. Ok, now in this window, locate for the device named Bluetooth. It is here. Expand it and then right click on its driver. Here my driver is this one, Intel Wireless Bluetooth. Now from this options, click on the first one, update driver. And now if you are connected to internet, click on the first link here. And now let Windows install the apt driver for your device. But in case it says that the best driver is already installed in your device, go back to the previous window by clicking on this arrow. And this time click on this link, second one. And then click on this link. Now select the latest version of the driver from this list. And then click next. And now wait for a while. Ok, now it says that the windows has updated your driver. Now close this windows and restart your computer. After restarting, your problem should be fixed. If not, try this second method. Right click on the start menu and then click on run to open the run command box. Now type here services.msc as you can see on the screen and then click ok. Ok, now in this window, locate the service named bluetooth support service ok it is here open it by double clicking and now under the general tab please click stop click yes in this confirmation window and now change its startup type from manual to automatic from this drop down list select automatic and uh, then click start then click apply and then click ok now close this window and also restart your computer after restarting your problem should be fixed if not try the third method open the windows registry editor to open it, type in the search box regedit as you can see on the screen and then right click on the first result. Then click on run as administrator. Now in this window, expand the folder named HK local machine. Then expand the folder named software. Then expand Microsoft. It is here expand it and then locate for the folder named windows nt ok it is here and now select the folder named current version now go to the right hand side and uh, locate the element named current version open it by double clicking and now change this value from 6.3 into 6.2 then click ok and close this window and now restart your computer after restarting your problem should be fixed i hope this video will help you thank you for watching this video by itech tips please like this video and subscribe my channel for my latest videos